Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing another collection series video, and that is going to be on the Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Spider-Man trilogy. This is the older one with Tobey Maguire, and personally, I love Spider-Man. I mean, it's like my favorite superhero. I mean, I know he's not really the strongest or the coolest, but I love him the most. And um, so yeah, let's go through them. I have all three of them. Um, so the first one, of course, is Spider-Man, the first one, um, this one came out way back in 2002, and I remember seeing this a long time ago, I don't remember when, but I loved this movie, I mean, this is like the beginning of, um, Spider-Man, how he became, um, Spider-Man, and I, I think the one of the best scenes is always, um, like, in all these superhero movies, it's when the person becomes a superhero. Like, that part's, I think, the most interesting. And this one, of course, he's at the museum thing. He's taking pictures of MJ, and um, he gets bitten by a spider. And then the next morning, he's, like, not feeling well, and it's all of a sudden, he's got, like, muscle and muscles and things. So I was like, yeah, that's really cool. And then all the fight scenes, I thought that was... Uh, Spider-Man's personally my favorite. I mean, I love Spider-Man. Um, Tobey Maguire and Kristen, Kirsten Dunst. So this is Spider-Man 1, one of my favorites. Next, of course, is Spider-Man 2. Um, this one, I felt, was not as good as the first one, but it's still as good. I mean, um, yeah, I, I liked this one, but not as much as the first one. But it still was a good story, and, you know, when I was younger, when I saw this, I always got confused on, like, remember the part when he, like, he started, like, not being into Spider-Man Spider that much, when he started, like, to lose his powers? Yeah, like, when I was younger, I never understood that, but now I understood be because he wasn't really into it as much, his heart wasn't really into it that much, that's why he was, like, losing his powers, but, now I understand now. Um, because uh, when I was younger, I was like he's losing his powers, and how does he have it back in Spider-Man 3? And I was, like, all confused, but I understand now, so that's Spider-Man 2. Love it. And the last but not, definitely not least, is Spider-Man 3. I don't get why everybody hates this movie. I don't, I honestly don't get it, because I love this movie, and, you know, this is my favorite of the three. It's just, I love the story of, um, how the, the Black Spider-Man is, like, it's really interesting. I like it. And, you know, I love this movie, and, um, I think the story is great, too. It became a little darker, because Spider-Man's, like, he's changing a little bit, and, like, he's, you know, it's, oh, uh, I don't know what to say. I love this movie. I don't know what to say. I also actually have the, um, Blu-ray of this. That's the only Spider-Man Blu-ray I have. I really do want to get the others on Blu-ray, but you know what? I don't have much money. <laughs> I'm saving, so I don't spend money on movies anymore. It's kind of sad, but you know, I can't really forever spend movies on Because I have spent a lot already on Blu-rays from the past couple years. So yeah, Spider-Man 3. Um, yeah, so I don't know what to say. I love the original series. Um, I I have seen Amazing Spider-Man, the first one in 3D in the theaters, with Emma Stone and Andrew Garfield, but I didn't like it. I mean, it was, it it just felt different, you know? I mean, the story is the same, but, like, there's different villains, and, um, the story is pretty much the same, but, like, I just, I couldn't get into it. I mean, um, I always thought Tobey Maguire was the best Spider-Man, and plus, like, MJ's not in the new one, which I don't understand. I mean, yeah, and, like, Gwen dies in the original one, so, I don't know, are they gonna kill off M Emma Stone, or, God knows, I don't know, but, to rate this, always, I'd have to put, um, Sm Spider-Man 3 as my favorite, oh, I love this so much, I've seen it, like, a lot of times, and you know what, I actually do want to see it again, but, I feel like if I see it too much, and I get a little tired of it, which, could be, could not be, but, oh, I love this movie so much, Spider-Man 3, then, that this is my first favorite. Second favorite, I'd have to go with the first Spider-Man, which is just how he becomes Spider-Man. It's just so cool. And then the th uh, my least favorite, but also I actually like. I I also like it's Spider-Man Two. So my first 
or sorry, first, second, and third. And even though this is my least favorite, I it doesn't mean that I don't like it. I mean, I still like it, but according to the other ones, it's um, it's a the other one's a little better. So yeah, that's my collection, my thoughts and review for the Spider-Man series. Um, I actually hold on a minute. Sorry, put this down a bit. I actually have. The Avengers, actually, this, uh, I'm, I lied, this is not mine, this is my sister's friend's, but, um, but I didn't watch it, because this is Marvel's, and, um, I think Spider-Man's DC, I don't remember, but yeah, I, I'm kind of sad Spider-Man's not in this, but, you know, hmm. so, yeah, but I'm not really fond of these superheroes, though, like, I mean, Captain America, I haven't seen, Iron Man, no, Thor is okay, I mean, all these guys, I mean, I guess it, I, it's good, but, like, yeah. So, oh, this video is getting long. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, Spider-Man. Woo! So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, and I just want to say, I became a YouTube partner about three weeks ago, so I'm, like, really excited. But, so far, I only made, like, 79 cents, and it's going to take forever for me to get to the threshold payment thing. So, yeah, it's going to take, like, two and a half years or something. But, yeah. But, subscribe, and thank you for watching. Comments, anything. I appreciate it. Bye, guys. See you later.